However, the word spreads among activists far and wide on the net, eventually reaching the German Chaos Computer Club, the biggest and oldest club for hackers in the world. I heard about it in late 2007 from a couple of friends. I started reading a bit more, but I started to understand the value um, of such a project to society. The politically engaged Chaos Computer Club has been fighting a long-term battle for free access to information. One of its members, Daniel domscheit Berry, is quick to recognize the common ground between his view of society and that of WikiLeaks. He quits his job as a computer consultant so as to devote all of his time to the new organization. The question is the attitude. What attitude do you have to society? Do you, do you look at what there is and you accept that as God-given? Or do you see society as something where you identify a problem and then you find a creative solution for that problem? So it is a matter of are you a spectator or are you actively participating in, in society? The computer club has put the skills of some of the sharpest hacking talents in the world at WikiLeaks' disposal. What's needed now is a physical haven. Hackers linked to the Swedish file-sharing site Pirate Bay have what they need. Considerable technical skills in a place where freedom of speech is unusually free. A lot of the countries in today's world um, do not have really strong laws for the media anymore. But uh, a few countries, like for instance Belgium, also the United States with the First Amendment, and especially, for example, Sweden, uh, have very strong laws protecting the media and the work of investigative or general journalists. So from our perspective, this is something, if, there's any, if there are any Swedes here, um, you have to make sure that your country is really one of the, the, the strongholds of freedom of information. You have Sweden to sure has a enviable, although far from perfect, a record in protecting publications. It has a practical record within the past few years of uh, protecting internet publications against censorship. And it's precisely Sweden's unique freedom of speech law that prompts WikiLeaks to locate their main site in this unpretentious basement in one of Stockholm's inner suburbs. Det började med en tunneltjänst att de skulle tunna trafik här igenom för att kunna kringgå vissa IP-bandningar och sånt som har skett i andra länder där som inte gillar Wikileaks. Men senare så valde de att ställa även en maskin här där de publicerar material utifrån. PRQ offer their customers total secrecy. Their systems prevent anyone from eavesdropping either Wikileaks chat pages or finding out who sent what to who. Vi erbjuder dels anonymitetstjänster, så kallar VPN-tunnlar, där en, en klient från utsidan ansluter till våra maskiner som sedan laddar ner den informationen de vill ha. Så om någon försöker spåra dem ifrån slutstationen, så att säga, där informationen kommer ifrån, så kommer de bara komma till våra maskiner. Och härifrån så lämnar inte vi ut några uppgifter om vem som hade det IP-numret vid det här tillfället. PRQ har en track record av being... Uh, the hardest uh, ISP you can find in the world. There's just no one else that bothers less about lawyers harassing them about content they are hosting. And it's just the attitude that, let's say, works very well with what WikiLeaks was um, set out to do. Här är uh, uh, vår server hall. One reason why WikiLeaks need PRQ is that their operations are protected by Sweden's strict freedom of expression laws. Laws which PRQ exploit to the full. We accept everything, everything that falls under, that is legal in a Swedish law. So we accept precisely everything. And we see how immoral or unjust it can be. So we don't do it to make any moral judgments. There is an information bomb that is standing and waiting. We stand for the conventional weapons. Och förhoppningsvis så kan den här informationen på något sätt stoppa några av de konventionella vapen. Det är min förhoppning. Här. And we aren't talking about any old information. It's from these servers at PRQ that WikiLeaks has, for example, made.